Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habita filai just wanted to update uh, what's going on with al-athari again at the current time I'm just recording uh, since I've been back in Washington state and also trying to get settled so unfortunately those are just realities that we have to deal with is making a lively back into the groove of being in society, uh, especially in the West. So at the current moment, I'm uh, preparing material, preparing the curriculum, which I'll be doing for quite some time, recording various uh, various durus. Currently, I'm about to begin, perhaps. Uh, Kitab al-Sunnah Imam Ahmed or perhaps Aqidat Wasatiya for the Athari Institute and also just as an update we're also working on things such as a logo and and, and other uh, projects so Alhamdulillah Jazallah Khairan for your support for your supplications and we're going forward. It may not be at the pace we'd like, and it may not be at the pace that even what others expect. But, walhamdulillah, by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I believe we will uh, get it. I can't really put a time frame because it does take, but again, it is moving forward. Alhamdulillah, I've recorded about 11 of the durus that are totally finished. They require editing. Uh, some of them require editing. About half of them require editing because well, alhamdulillah some of them have already been edited they're ready but again when i release it i want to release it either the full program or at least uh two to three of the levels completed and they'll probably be consist of about four levels four to five levels for now as a beginning and then in the future inshallah we'll advance and that's the whole thing once it's up it'll be easier to do live streams to do other interactive because i want it to be interactive as well uh, I like what some of the other brothers are doing, and I believe this will contem this will um, this will uh, complement some of the other projects and things that are uh, happening. I'm not wearing red because it matches, but I am wearing red, and I know people will uh, have mentioned in the past about the tahrim or the impermissibility of this. Uh, I feel that it is a necessity at times when coming out here because of uh, to be seen that you need to so min baba durura and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best uh, it, it becomes necessary and I'll tell you what really happened last week <clears throat> when I was out uh, actually there were people shooting AK-47s out here for those who are familiar with weaponry and actually one of the bullets did actually it whizzed by me and so I had to alert them and I was wearing all black and I don't think it was a matter of them uslin uh, not well. It was a matter they weren't seeing me, but they were in, uh, they were shooting at the trail, which is imper it's not um, legal here. You can shoot outdoors, but there should be what's known as a backstop. Like here, you see these this rock face. This is sort of a backstop. Even this, you couldn't shoot here because there's you know people come up here, they come to camp, and they come to hike here. But a backstop means that it has you know it has some sort of uh, like an embankment. Uh, where you can shoot almost like being isolated down here but here you couldn't do it as well but in a place where there is a, a safe backdrop and there will be no human contact but they were shooting at the trail so just for those who have a problem uh, you know or who uh, want to bring that up we are aware of the hukum and the adurura yubi mahdurat and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, but <clears throat> that this is the lesser of the evils by wearing, you need to be uh, aware, you need to be able to be seen, perhaps by animals, but more so by human beings, especially people who shoot, because we have a, a, a big goal, gun culture here. So I wanted to mention that as well, Habitatillah, while we're out here in this beautiful Hanson Creek area. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be successful in this project. Because this, to me, is what I, as uh, 
if you want to say a legacy. This is something I want to leave behind. I want this to get up and running and where it is uh, so that after I, I pass on, bi'idhnillah ta'ala, that this is something that I will have left behind. You know, and this is the whole point as the, the scholars, they are the warath al-anbiya. They are the inheritors of the prophets. And they inherit the ilm. And likewise, that they leave behind the ilm. And as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, and this is a hadith in Sahih, uh, Bukhar, uh, Sahih Muslim. The Prophet ﷺ said, when a person dies, uh, he leaves behind three things. That, that his deeds cease except three. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Asadaka Jariya. The continuous charity. And knowledge that the people benefit from. And a, a righteous child that supplicates for him. So we hope to gain all of those things. And by having the Athari Institute, that perhaps this can be a source of the two. Because if it is a continual thing, although the continuous charity is often things like wealth, and things like this. However, if it is something that the people can go back to and learn about their religion, perhaps it can meet two of those criterion and that it's a continuous charity that people continue to benefit from, they continue to uh, contribute to perhaps or what have you. And likewise, that the people benefit knowledge-wise. And this is what we hope to leave behind. Let's, we ask Allah Azza wa Jalla the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم